Welcome to part two of the AV Foundation tutorial. So now we need to implement our functionality to uh, take a picture. So let's go ahead right below our initialize capture session function and create a new function. And I'll do funk uh, capture, or we'll just call it take picture. Simple enough. And uh, in this function, we need to go ahead and uh, set up that logic. So the first thing we need to do is create uh, some AV capture photo settings. So we'll do that like this. Let settings equal AV capture photo settings. <clears throat> and uh, what we'll, we'll do here is we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in just one second, but let's go ahead and actually call our uh, capture routine. So camera capture output dot capture photo and we'll provide these settings and we need to provide a delegate and uh, we are going to pass in self for the delegate and I'll explain that in just a moment we still need to set that up but let's take a look at our settings and I forgot to add some uh, parentheses here let's go ahead and take a look at that so our settings provide lots of different configurations uh, for when we're going to take a picture um, and it's worth going through here and getting familiar with all of the various settings in here, um, such as uh, flash mode and uh, is auto still image stabilization enabled and dual camera fusion enabled. There's tons of settings that you know cover all of the different features on some of the newer uh, Apple hardware, such as the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, which have the you know super duper cameras. Uh, so a lot of these settings can be changed here, and it's really good to get familiar with those and know what, what you would like to use to uh, customize your image capture. So I'm just going to just change the flash mode. Um, I'm just going to put my flash mode uh, to automatic equals dot auto, and you can see AV capture flash mode, so uh, I don't have to worry about that. And that's all I'm going to configure here. Okay, so let's take care of our uh, delegate error warning right here. So what we'll do is we will create an extension on our view controller down below and we will conform to the AV capture photo capture delegate and that's a little long-winded to say it but let's go ahead and create that extension <coughs> and uh, that should go ahead and silence our warning here and so now we what we want to do is we want to implement the uh, did finish processing photo sample buffer. This is a pretty long named method, but if we start typing did finish processing photo sample buffer. So we can go ahead and complete that and you can, can see, you can see here that's a really, really big uh, method signature. So <clears throat> what do we need to do here? Uh, well, the first thing we want to do is we want to check for uh, any potential error that could have occurred during the image capture. So uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, let's do a if let unwrapped error equals error. We'll just print the unwrapped error dot localize description. Uh, else we'll go ahead and uh, try to process our image. So let's just take a quick look at some of the parameters here. Uh, you'll notice that we have a photo uh, sample buffer and a preview sample buffer, a preview photo. So with the uh, iOS 10, this API has changed a little bit. Um, and now we can use we can specify in our settings if we want to have a preview photo returned along with the main photo. Now this would be useful. Um, if you needed a low res image to show, you know, in a, in like a collection view cell or something like that. Uh, and we also have a main photo sample buffer that we can get the full res main image from. So for this uh, tutorial, we're just going to focus on our uh, main photo sample buffer here. So we'll go ahead and start implementing that below here. So we'll just uh, do a couple checks because you'll notice that these are some uh, optional data types. So uh, if let our uh, sample buffer equal the photo sample buffer and we'll also do another check uh, and let our data image equals the AV capture photo output dot JPEG 
photo data representation for the sample buffer that we will unwrap here. And since, or actually, we'll just make sure we paste that in here. Autocomplete's failing there. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, pass in the preview sample buffer. Now, this could be nil. Um, it's going to be because I didn't specify any of the settings for it, and I don't really care about that right now. So you could, you could pass in nil for that, but I'm just going to pass in uh, the parameter. And so if all of these checks pass, if we have our photo sample buffer and we have our our, our image data, then we'll do one more one more check. If let final image equal UI image with data, and we'll provide the data image, then we'll need to do something with our photo. Uh, preferably, we're going to go ahead and display that in uh, our view controllers. Now let's go ahead and stub out our uh, function that will go ahead and uh, pass that image that we just captured and then uh, prepare to send that to our, our preview view controller that we still need to create. So I'll just create another function. Um, we'll just call it uh, display captured photo. That takes in a captured photo of UI image. And we'll go ahead here and uh, we'll implement that in just a moment. But let's go back down below to our extension, and call that here. So we'll just call it display captured photo. We'll pass in the final image that we unwrapped here. And that completes the uh, basic camera capture and setup implementations. So all we have to do right now is go ahead and bind up uh, our image to the UI and we're done. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. Okay, so let's go over into our uh, main storyboard and <clears throat> we are going to set up all the UI pieces that we need here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, first things first, uh, let's go ahead and embed our view controller in a navigation controller. So select your view controller, go to editor uh, and go down to embed in navigation controller and this will just make it simple for us to uh, go back and forth between our uh, camera and our uh, preview view controller, which we still need to make. So let's go ahead and position that. And we're going to go back over into our, uh, let's see here, our object library. And we're going to drag another view controller onto the canvas. And let's just go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and Go back into our uh, source code uh, directory here. Let's create a new Swift file, and we'll just call this image preview view controller. Let's go ahead and create that file. Let's go into that file and import the necessary UI kit for all of our uh, view controller necessities. And we'll just create our class, class image preview view controller which is going to be a UI view controller and we'll just go ahead and uh, override view did load and uh, one thing we're going to do here is uh, we are going to have an image uh, and what we're going to do is create a property var uh, captured image of type UI image and I'm just going to mark that as optional because uh, we don't necessarily need to have to provide that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go back into our main storyboard and subclass our image preview view controller. So we'll go into that second uh, storyboard, or I'm sorry, second view controller that we created, go over into the class inspector here, and we'll go ahead and start typing in image preview view controller. And I'm also going to copy and paste that name for the storyboard ID and the restoration ID and make them match. And that will set us up there. Uh, one little part we need to do now is we just want to add in an image view to our uh, image preview view controller. So go back down to your object library and type in UI image view. And we'll drag that onto our view controller. 
And I'm just going to position it flush against the edges here. So I'm going to drag it out to each edge as carefully as I can. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go down into the auto layout and reset to suggested constraints. And that takes care of that. The one thing we need to do now is create a binding to our view controller. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch into the assistant editor here. And we'll go ahead and find our image preview view controller on the right side. And uh, we'll just create a binding to it. So we'll select our image view, make sure it's selected and in focus, hold down the control key, click and drag, and we'll just call this uh, captured image view. And I think Xcode doesn't like me. I'm going to clean it real fast. Hold on, sometimes this happens. Oh, I'm just going to rename it to, and maybe let's see if that helps. Image view. There we go. Okay. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to pass uh, we're going to we're going to pass a property over, and we're going to in our view did load assign our image view dot image equal to the captured image, and we still need to set up the uh, logic to actually pass uh, the image back and forth. So we're almost done. Uh, let's go back over into our uh, camera view controller, or our, I guess I should say our main view controller, and we need to go ahead and add a button there to take a picture. So we'll just go back to our view controller here, go down to the object library, look for a button, and drag a UI button onto the canvas. I'm just going to position mine down here, and we'll just call that take picture. And I'm just going to go ahead and add some auto layout bindings here. Uh, so I'm going to put some constraints in the bottom, and uh, I'm just going to horizontally center that. And I'm going to add a uh, width and a height to silence these warnings. That should be good there. Uh, and the last step here is we just need to go ahead and create an IB action for our button. So go back into the assistant editor. And this time, find your uh, view controller, the one that's your camera. Let me just dismiss these so we have a little more room here. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, find a good spot and select the button, hold down the control key, click and drag. And instead of an outlet, switch to an action. And we'll just call this take picture. And now let's go ahead and uh, implement the necessary logic to take our picture and then to pass that image to our uh, image preview view controller. Okay, we'll go ahead and wrap up the rest of this tutorial in part three.